Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to do a personal favorite science experiment. The inverted balloon in a bottle. To be able to do this experiment, you're going to need a glass bottle, a balloon, some water, and a way to heat up that water. Whether it be a stove or a microwave or any other way, you can heat the water. So now, let's begin. So to begin, you're going to need to take your bottle with a little bit of water and heat it up. It's essential that the water is very, very hot, so you need to get it to at least boiling. If you're using a microwave, heat it to around a minute, but again, it depends on the microwave. And after you safely, with mittens, because the glass bottle will be very, very hot, set it down to a place where you can work. Cover it immediately with a coaster or any other way to block the hot air from escaping the bottle. And when you think it's safe, take the balloon and cover the mouth of the bottle. Adjust the balloon as necessary so that it is in the center of the mouth of the bottle so that it can easily go inside when it's ready, as you can see in the video. Then, wait and see what happens. While we watch this experiment progress, let's start explaining how this experiment works. When you heat up the water inside the glass, the water turns into water vapor, which is a gas. Gases tend to move more freely and faster than liquids do. They also tend to try to move as far away from each other as possible. Then we cover the bottle with a balloon. Now the water and the gas inside the bottle starts to cool down. The water vapor that had previously been water now condenses, which means it turned back to being water. Imagine that these molecules that were all spread out inside the bottle now goes back to being a very, very small amount of the bottle. Look at how much water is in that bottle. As I mentioned before, gases try to go as far away from each other as possible. So, in a container, the gas takes whatever volume the container is in. But, liquids always have a defined volume. So, when the gas condenses into the liquid, most of the molecules are going to shrink down to that very small portion of the glass. And outside, the pressure of the molecules are a lot higher than the pressure inside. Why? Well, because the pressure depends on the amount of molecules there are on a given volume. The more molecules there are, the higher the pressure will be, and the less molecules, the lower the pressure. So if the molecules are more um, closely compacted, there'll be a higher pressure, and if they're very spread apart, there'll be a lower pressure. So when all of the molecules come down into a very small portion, all of the liquid molecules now, there's not going to be a lot of gas molecules left inside the container. There will be some left, but there'll be a lot more spread apart, and the gas outside of the bottle will be a lot more closely compacted together. And whenever this happens in nature, well, it's going to try to reach an equilibrium, so that the inside and the outside have an equal amount of pressure. And how does this happen? The air molecules outside the bottle are going to rush into the bottle to equalize the pressures. And we have the balloon in its way. So it's going to push the balloon with it in order to equalize the pressures. So if you leave your bottle out for a very long time, then when it no longer seems to change, the pressures will be equal. That's awesome, right? I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Be sure to like this video if you did. Subscribe to our channel, AK Academy, so you don't miss our future videos. And like our Facebook page with the link. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.